Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. Today we're gonna to talk about censorship. In the world of anime or anything related to it, censorship is a routine topic of discussion, especially when it involves the localization of content as it's brought into the West. Whether that's anime, manga, video games, or alike, the way this content is filtered by Western companies is a meaningful process for the foreign audience that relies on, or justifiably expects, that large corporations will provide faithful translations and educated localizations. Well today, we're going to look at another round of censorship drama, this time involving the game Blue Archive and its removal of sexual content from its global version. Now, censorship is bad, I think we can all agree on that, but why was there such an uproar over the cropping of a few mosquito bites? Well, it's because players felt lied to in this case. Because in a previous interview, the director promised that they would not alter the illustrations for the international release of the game, which has upset the majority of its fan base the same fan base that has supported the game's growth and success, who now, over the past few days, has been review bombing Blue Archive on Google Play. This eventually has led to a very half-hearted apology and attempt at damage control from its developers that we'll get into at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Now, Western companies like Funimation have done a masterful job, a masterful job at managing to screw up all of their localizations and translations, because in their eyes, Doing the right thing by removing or changing the original messages and their localizations is far more important than providing accurate and honest translations. However, despite how much criticism some like Funimation or Crunchyroll receives, that type of criticism is harder to quantify, at least when it comes to streaming platforms like them. Content that runs strictly through apps, however, is a much different story, because any app that is worth its left nut has to go through the all-powerful lords that are Google Play and the Apple Store. Because for better or for worse, these are the only places apps can legitimately promote themselves, and within these services, there's rating systems. One that can be quite useful for customers trying to share their feedback. Well, at least until the owners delete certain ratings, but hey, what can you do about that? However, just ask Genshin Impact how much of an effect this system can have on the public perception of your game. After a thorough blue-balling of a one-year anniversary event, players were getting frustrated with MiHoYo, its developer. To voice these concerns, players took to the App Store and bombarded the game with negative reviews, dropping it from a nearly perfect rating to a sub 2 out of 5 rating in a matter of days. Today's video is a perfect culmination of all these themes we've talked about so far today, censorship and game reviews, and how this is played out for Blue Archive. So quickly, we'll go back to square one. As you can see, on the top is the uncensored frame from the Korean release of Blue Archive, on the bottom, you can see the crop frame included in the global release. I mean, that's the kind of crop job you would expect for one of my thumbnails, not for a waifu collecting game. Now, it's not just about the censoring of this flat collection of pixels. Fans were upset about this because the director had stated in a previous interview that they would not alter the illustrations for the international release of the game. Well, people took notice, and this caught-in-a-lie moment gained traction amongst its fan base, and coupled with the hiding of replies on their public tweets, Blue Archive started getting review bombed on Google Play, now sitting at an abysmal 1.8 out of 5 rating. Sensing that things were not getting any better over the past few days, the developers released this statement on Twitter. To boil it down, it basically said it was not their policy to censor this from a developer standpoint, but instead it came as a result of regional complications and most notably, what they call external requests. Which sounds pretty fishy, I mean, what is an external request? What does that mean? Who does that come from? Either this is deflecting blame or there's something more to this that we don't know about. This whole scenario can be defined as don't bite the hand that feeds. If this is about censoring of lolly related content, it's bad news for them. Because like it or not, that's a large part of their fan base that has supported this game. Not to mention the fact that Blue Archive's developers cater to these demands and wants. It may seem like a small change, but big changes always start with a small one and they hope you don't complain about the small ones so they can keep pushing censorship further and further until it's too late. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.